So is how wide the tropical storm force winds expanded. It's actually stretching about 460 miles outside the center of it. But now this thing's just a remnant, still bringing some onshore showers to the coast of Texas. But our attention turns to the next potential area of development in the tropics, and that is actually right off the Georgia and Florida coastline. This cluster of thunderstorms now has a 40% chance of development, and the timeline of that is between now and tomorrow. So it could potentially come a tropical depression more than likely it just sends some moisture up to the Georgia coastline as it gets inching closer by tomorrow morning. Let me show you a big picture of the future radar image. I've got the wind lines on here so you can see where the center of that rotation is. Hurricane hunters have been inside of this, have found some winds close to 40 miles per hour, but it lacks a low level circulation. So as of now, it's just what we call an invest. But this will send some rain showers to the Georgia coastline Friday, and then it kind of hangs up right along the coast. So this will increase the moisture content across North Georgia, meaning higher humidity levels. That sticky feeling outside increases this weekend, and also it may bring in a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms as we get into late Saturday. And